Heavenly Father, right now, Father God, I lift up my husband to you in the name of Jesus. Father, I ask that you please forgive him of all of his sins. Abba, cleanse him, wash him with the redeeming, atoning blood of your son, Jesus. Father God, I cover him with the blood. I cover our family, I cover our marriage, I cover our children, I cover our possessions with the blood of Jesus. Father, I thank you that you have saved my husband. I thank you that he is a follower of Jesus Christ. I thank you that Jesus Christ is his personal Lord and Savior. I thank you that my husband daily denies himself, pick up his cross and follow you. Father, I thank you that my husband is surrendered to you and he is filled up with the Holy Spirit. I thank you, Father God, that my husband is your disciple and his life is disciplined. He lives a disciplined life in you, Lord. He reads the word of God, studies the word of God, and obeys the word of God faithfully. I thank you that my husband is a man of wisdom. He has godly wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Father, I thank you. I thank you that he has godly counselors around him and that he has empathy, sympathy, and compassion. I thank you that he is very humble. Father, I thank you that my husband walks in the fruit of the spirit and he is baptized with Holy Ghost fire and with water, Lord. He's filled up with love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, gentleness, goodness, faithfulness, and self-control. I thank you, oh God, that he has the mind and heart of Jesus Christ. I thank you that he is rooted and grounded in the love of God. He spreads his roots into the water of the word and he drinks and he bears righteous fruit in the marriage, in raising the children, in his health and in ministry. Father God, I thank you that he is financially free he walks in liberty. I thank you, Father God, that he is successful and that Jeremiah 29 and verse 11 is his portion. That's his birthright. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Lord, I thank you that my husband is prosperous. He has hope. He has faith. He walks by faith and not by sight. I thank you, oh God, that he has a future in you. That he has abundant abundant life life and life more abundantly lord i thank you that you have forgiven him and he forgives others i thank you oh god that he prays diligently father i thank you that my husband has your vision and you have given him provision for the vision you've given to him lord i thank you that he's clear about the vision on his life the vision you've given to him he's clear oh god he has eagle sight. He mounts up on wings as eagles. Father, I thank you that he has strong godly convictions. That he runs away from sin, Lord. I thank you that he's growing in you. I thank you that he loves his family. He loves you. He loves the church. Father, he listens to gospel music. He watches godly shows. But I thank you that my husband is consecrated, sanctified, Holy Ghost filled, filled with in integrity. He is your leader. Lord, I thank you that you download in innovative ideas, Father, to him, creative ideas to him. Lord, I thank you that he does what's right. Even when nobody is, is looking, Father God, he has integrity. And so you're giving him innovative ideas and creative ideas, oh God. He's a man who's honest. He walks in divine honesty, Father God. He's quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry, Father God. In the name of Jesus, he has active listening skills. Father God, his self-confidence comes from, comes from you, Father God. His identity is in Christ Jesus. Father, I thank you that you live inside of him. Your Holy Spirit lives inside of him, Lord. I thank you that he is, he is secure. He is secure in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you that he makes the best decisions and he does not sell his birthright. He does not give up his relationship with you, Father God, for sin. He would not sell his birthright for a, a cup of soup, Father God, or stew. Father, I thank you that my husband wrestles with you. 
And Lord, he will never let you go, even, even when you bless him. The Bible said that Jacob was so afraid to meet up with Esau because of what he had done to Esau. He was in great fear and distress, the Bible says in Genesis 32. But Father, I thank you that my husband don't have to worry about his past because his past is over. You said, forget the former things. Behold, I do a new thing. It's bringing up, Father, he's in his new beginning season. He's not dealing with any Esau's, Father God. He has been forgiven. And Father God, he has been wrestling with you. We, we, we see that Jacob was strong. He was so afraid of a man, his brother Esau. But yet, Father God, he wrestled with you and he was strong. It said he was strong. He was left alone. My husband is left alone spending time with you, Father God, wrestling with you until the day, the day breaks, the break of day, until he gets a breakthrough. It says when the man saw that he could not overpower him, he touched the socket of Jacob's hip so that his hip was wrenched and he wrestled with the man, Father, as he wrestled with the man. My, I thank you, Father God, that the things that we used to be afraid of, my, we're not afraid anymore. My, the things my husband was afraid of, he's no longer afraid, oh God, because he has been fasting and praying and wrestling with you, Father God, and he is strong in the Lord and the power of his might, Father. He put on the whole armor of God and he's not afraid of anything or anyone, Father. He is bold as a lion and he faces pain past father God knowing that he's changed he's transformed father you've changed his name father in the name of Jesus and he has the limp of the Lord he depends on you father God and he will never let you go and he even when you bless him father God he holds on to you he wrestle in prayer and he defeats the enemy he resists the devil and the devil flee from him oh God I thank you in the name of Jesus and when Jacob met up with Esau Esau embraced him because Lord, I thank you that you've given my husband peace with his enemies. His enemies are at peace with him. And I thank you for the new beginning that he has with you, oh God. And he's leading the family with godly wisdom, holiness, righteousness. He has on the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, the belt of truth is buckled around his DNA. He has on the gospel, he has on the gospel shoes of peace, oh God. He has your shalom peace. He has, he's, he's lacking nothing. He lacks nothing. He is whole in you. Heal of every childhood issue. Father God, he's out of covenant with wickedness. He just, he, 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 Father God, he breaks covenant with the wicked. No more curses. He's blessed. You've blessed him and changed his name. And now he's brand new. And he loves his wife as Christ of the church. And he loves his children. And he seeks first your kingdom and your righteousness and all that he needs is added unto him. Lord, I thank you, Father God, that your angels are in camp all around him. I thank you, oh God, that my husband is upright. I thank you, oh God, that he will not, Father God, be destroyed by his flesh like Adam and Eve. He will not eat the forbidden fruit. He will not be like Esau, Esau and sell his birthright. He fasts and pray. He hungers, Father, he hungers and thirsts after your word and you fill him up. He has the, the daily bread. He has the bread of life and his name is Jesus. Father, he eats your word. He obeys your word. In the name of Jesus, there's no more dysfunctionalism. There's, he's not being led by dysfunctional behaviors. He is being led by your spirit. And you've blessed him with the blessings of Abraham like you did Jacob. Lord, I thank you that he set free, Father God, and he's not dealing with any Laban who would trick him. My husband does not manipulate anybody. Father, he doesn't, he doesn't operate in witchcraft. He, he follows the Holy Spirit. And you've set him free, Father God, from every Laban. He's set free and he's brand new in you. He wrestles with you, Father God, and receives his breakthrough. He has a new name. And even though, Father God, he has the limp of the Lord, it's, it's for him to rely on you. That's his testimony. He picks up his mat. Father, he gets up, picks up his mat, and he follows you all the days of his life. In the name of Jesus. And he loves his children equally. There's no favoritism in the house. Father, I thank you that he fears you. And he walks by faith. And you love him, oh God. 
love is filled up in his heart because he has the heart of God. He has your eyes and your ears. Lord, I thank you. He has your spirit, your vision. And I thank you, oh God, that you're blessing him from the north, south, east, and west. Divine destiny helpers, godly divine destiny helpers are coming to bless him now exceedingly and abundantly above all that, above all that he could ever ask or imagine. Father, I thank you that he's successful in business. He's successful, Father God, in ministry. And souls upon souls upon souls are being saved every day through his ministry. He has a testimony and he shall testify. And when souls for your kingdom, because we overcome the devil by the blood of the lamb, by the words of our testimony, my husband is Job. Father, you've turned his captivity and you've given him twice as much. Twice as, as, mu twice as much as he had before, oh God. Give him double, 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 double. He's a faithful man, faithful husband, faithful father. And you're blessing him, Father God. Above all that he could ever ask or imagine. He stands beneath an open heaven on repeat. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. And I seal this prayer, my husband. Father God, with the blood of Jesus and the seal of the Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen, amen, amen.